Hi guys, it's PC Crypto here. Today I'm talking about SWE, SWE blockchain. It's SUI.io, uh, the new blockchain that is also built on Move like Aptos, uh, with the team coming from the former DM team, DM, uh, which was former Libra, which was part of Facebook, uh, currently Meta. That might be a bit confusing, but basically, those guys are super knowledgeable. They were working at uh, Libra's DM. Uh, and they developed inside the language called Move. So Move is this super new language uh, which is like Solidity on steroids and as far as I can understand it takes all the kind of types that uh, people can own uh, not only just the particular coins or assets like with the classical blockchains and it also allows for um, things done in parallel. So SWE will be using a modified version of Move for the smart contracts uh, and it will allow for, to have like dynamic NFTs, uh, to have uh, super scalability and safety at the same time. And I want to jump in into the platform. Uh, so SWE right now is in the building mode. Uh, there's not much I think you can interact with. Uh, there's a lot of developer resources though and you can go into, for example, you can go into um, the white paper coming from the Mistin Labs. So Mistin Labs is the team behind SWE. Uh, so they give you uh, everything about the, the move language plus what are the main differences um, and so on. This is more technical uh, from, the, from the coder perspective, but you can also go into the medium and uh, they have an article titled announcing SWE. And in this text, they basically explain you how they plan to build this layer one blockchain together. Uh, and yeah, so the story basically starts with uh, 2021, last year, uh, they decided to leave Meta to build Mist and Labs and then build uh, a company dedicated for uh, to, to improve this web free infrastructure altogether. Uh, and basically, uh, they talk about the breakthrough, they talk about this Byzantine problem, which is also similar to Aptos. Uh, and then they have this uh, comparison SWE blockchain versus traditional blockchain uh, and how data is organized into independent objects and how you can have multiple transactions being done at the same time. Uh, so the highlights of the blockchain uh, are basically super scalability, uh, instant settlement, uh, safe smart contracts that are accessible to mainstream developers. I will talk about that later on as well. Uh, Ability to define rich composable on-chain assets. Uh, so those are like dynamic NFTs, but probably much more you can own types basically. Uh, and then better user experience for web free apps. Uh, and I think the, the reason for that is that the move language itself would, would, would enforce some kind of uh, safety in the first place. Uh, so yeah, then, then the interesting part I guess is here uh, that for example, Move's design, so the Move is the language for the smart contracts, uh, SWE is using Move, actually the modified version of Move, um, and it will it will prevent issues like poison tokens, spoof token approval, so basically the problem that Web3 is having right now. Uh, so actually every week there's some some kind of a scam going on. People are losing, for example, the, their board API club uh, NFTs because they clicked some link and it turned out to be a set approval for all or something like that. Or maybe they lost their tokens because they received the token they wanted to sell later on. And once you try to transact with that token, you actually give the allowance to all the ETH you own, stuff like that. It's pretty common on Ethereum right now. Um, that's why it's, you should have to be super careful to be secure on the blockchain, use things like uh, hardware wallets like Ledger, uh, stuff like that, probably do a whole video around it. But the thing, the cool thing here is that move smart contracts will basically allow you to have security built in within the blockchain and you won't be able to have things like that. And this is really cool about SWE. So, um, because in general, if we, if we want to have uh, like really mass mass adoption, basically two things need to happen, like probably three things. 
uh, we need to have really scalable blockchains. So if you're thinking about Visa or MasterCard, how, ma how, ma how many transactions they process in a second, it's basically millions. Uh, then the current generation of blockchains, even things like Solana or the internet computer, which are pretty fast, uh, are not fast enough to compete with ma MasterCard or Visa. And you need blockchains which are much faster than that. And that's, why, that's where uh, SUI is coming into play. Uh, so another thing is, uh, so I said three things. Another thing is basically you need to have security because most of the people are like, we're living in the world where if you lose a password, uh, then you should be able to retrieve that. And then if you click a link, it shouldn't cost you to lose all your money in one second because that's absurd, of course. Uh, and this is what happens in crypto. Crypto is still a little bit of the wild west when it comes to that. Unless you, of course, start using things like hardware wallets or maybe multi-sig wallets like Gnosis uh, to really have this kind of 2FA authentication. Uh, then, But then it's again, it's like only a small percentage of users use things like that. Or you can use centralized services like Binance, OKX or other, uh, other exchanges to actually hold your funds. But then, of course, there, there are like uh, drawbacks to that as well. Uh, so having a smart contract system language for like move which would allow you to have security built in is really cool for the for the ordinary users and then the third thing is of course the uh, the whole ux experience so how users interact what are their experiences with the blockchain uh, and how easy it is to interact we you want to have that as easy and as simple as possible to have the mass adoption so those are the three things and it seems like so we really, they, they're really thinking about that. Like the, the Mist the media are really thinking about, Mist Labs are really thinking about those kind of issues. And it's understandable because if they, like, if they have this experience with Meta, of course, Facebook, Instagram are super big on thinking about the user experience and how to attract people and stay and make them stay on the platform in the long run. So, uh, if you think about that, like having people people go from meta to uh, building their own blockchain is probably the best thing that can happen to blockchain when it comes to mass adoption in the end. Uh, so yeah, so this is about the uh, the the uh, the SWE blockchain. Uh, I have this uh, citation here also about the founders being the senior leaders from uh, Facebook's uh, advanced R and D organization. They're talking about DM. So DM uh, is the, the the name for the Libra, uh, DM is basically winding down. I talked about that in another video. So basically they're selling all the assets uh, as of the beginning of this year. And probably like you can see many more people going from DM to building their own startups or joining the existing startups. And I think that's a great thing happening in the end because having experience coming from Meta, uh, you know how to build stuff, you know how the bigger organization works, you can think about the user experience in the end, you know how you, how generally speaking user experience is super important uh, and I think we mean like we really miss this kind of people in the web free space like there's a lot of uh, talent spots that need to be filled with people uh, thinking about the user experience scalability uh, engineering issues at scale basically so that's super great uh, yeah, so basically they're giving some examples. I will link this uh, this thing down below uh, they have also uh, a bunch of other interesting articles on the medium uh, introducing Mist and Labs. So basically, what was their goal with uh, Mist and Labs? How they went from who are the co-founders basically or are doxxed, which is great. Uh, you can click one by one through all the links, see their LinkedIn profile and so on. Uh, you can see what they did previously to, to building SWE. Uh, that's great. Uh, their the company culture, which is also amazing. Um, and then the interesting part also, I think I found it somewhere here. Uh, yeah, there's this recap. Uh, I really like the AMA uh, with the team about the move programming language. They made the comparisons with Solidity, how, how it's different uh, for them, how they use it. Uh, it's more, more from the coder perspective, but it also gives you uh, like, you start to understand how they operate, how they think about the building the, their own blockchain. And it's really cool. So. Right now, SWE is uh, not available. You can't buy tokens or anything. Uh, I don't know exactly when that will come. Uh, so I just wanted to make this video because uh, I did a video on Aptos, then Libra, and it's all connected in some uh, in some sense. Uh, and I think we'll be hearing more about the new blockchains that are coming out of 
uh, meta winding down on their own cryptocurrency. Uh, and yeah, the move language seems to be interesting as well. I plan to do probably a video just about the move language uh, and compare that to Solidity. Uh, but yeah, th this this seems interesting. I don't know. So I don't know the tokenomics. I don't know exactly how that will work. Uh, who are the, the major uh, investors in the ecosystem? They probably will release that information uh, Soon they are a little bit less advanced than Aptos, as what I could see, because Aptos have, has already a DEF net. They have a plan to launch the main net by the end of this year, so you'll be able to buy tokens if you want to. Uh, I don't know anything about Sui or where any kind of like airdrops thing are coming or stuff like that. So uh, you have to go to their Twitter uh, Twitter profile and basically. Uh, get all the information from there. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about Sui uh, down below in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel for the best and more uh, deep dives into new blockchains, new products and web free. And of course, don't forget to give the like on the video to like boost the mass adoption of crypto in general. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.